What's going on guys? James 117. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He's everlasting. Uh, he is the straight and narrow. Um, in this video, I'm going to do my rifle, since I've been getting a lot of, more. I got a good bit of people asking uh, for, to do a video about it, and I haven't done one yet, so I figured I'd do it. And it's good timing, because... I'm sick right now, I feel like absolute shit, so. That's why I'm inside during the day. Weird feeling, but nonetheless, here we are. Um, I guess I can just do, I might do a two part video. Ah, no, fuck it, I'll just do one video. With the bag as well. Uh, this is the Vertex and VTAC or something like that. Uh, yeah, VTAC. Anyways, it fits my rifle perfectly. Mine's a 13.7 with a pin and weld. Um, so, if that helps you at all, there you go. Um, super nice, just sleek. Not no Molly or Velcro or any of that crap on the outside. Just plain Jane. You got some, some pull tabs. Um, I had this from like a double bag or something, so I just put it on there so I can throw it around my shoulder. But yeah, I love this thing. Very sleek. As you can see, there's it comes with like mounts right here for you to do around the, the back of the car seat. Um, but yeah, other than that, it is, it's freaking very plain. Um, has one pocket, which I'm gonna have to get up and see how well y'all can see this. So right there is a good angle. So it's a ferro tear. I just slapped it in there, put three, and then a little um, vertex uh, origami, whatever it's called, for your pistol. And onto the main compartment. There's only two. Like I said, it's very simple. Um, yeah, it opens up all the way. I hate not being able to see my camera, but. Anyways, so here's my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. We're clear. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be out of frame. This is a bit of a challenge. I think right there is probably good. Tip to butt, right? Tip to butt. Um, Surefire War Comp. Cloud Defense, um, I don't know, an old gen, fucking really bright one. I forgot the model. Uh, it comes with their, their switches and stuff. And then, uh, God. Video is pointless, so I don't remember all the shit on my rifle. Just to warn you, I'm a broke college student, so this is all off, uh, Half of it's off gaffs or just cheap shit. Um, I forgot the brand of this. This is a Reptilia QD mount for my sling, which is a Ferro Concepts sling. Um, have a Knight's Armament hand stop and a Lunar Concepts uh, rail wrap on my Geisley rail and a Ballistic Advantage uh, barrel and like I said I pin and welded my work comp on there uh, and timed it just for neutral so I can do right or left and it won't really um, there won't be a hindrance if I shoot shoot offhand um, but yeah so there's that um, gonna have to change this mount here for my light when I get a can so that's gonna be that's going to be a project. Um, Isaiah 6 8 right there, of course. Random, random upper. Uh, stag arms lower. Again, just cheap. Have a little Noveski. Uh, guard right there. God is greater than the highs and lows. Um, forgot the bolt carrier group. I can't remember for the life of me, but. 
I'm looking at that uh, titanium one. Forgot the brand of that. Anyways, uh, this is uh, American Ordnance. Um, 16137. High rise, high rise uh, mount for a LPVO. And the LPVO is a piece of shit. Uh, true low. So that's wonderful. But it does all right. It does all right. And, um, you know, we plan to upgrade that at some point. Oh, and then, you know, you get the mag pole. Um, you got, uh, man, I forget all the cool guy names. Anyways, some of this stuff is kind of cool. Uh, Rev Designs. I like that guy. Um, Kitbadger.com. He did a collaboration with, uh, Rev, I guess, or it might be his company. I could be mistaken, but um, they did a really cool grip. I think the main the main thing or the main difference, I guess, would be um, it does have a groove, um, but it's angled like a motherfucker. Like, it's almost straight up and down. That just allows you to get your stock closer um, because, it, you know, if you're thinking about your, your body mechanics, when you, if your stock's way out here, you, you can rotate your wrist like that, but as you come closer, it's gonna na more naturally fall straight like that. Um, anyway, so that was a cool little collaboration that they did. Um, I really like that grip. Have, I mean, it's just an amazing grip. If you can get your hands on one, do it, because uh, it's awesome. And it comes with, like you can get your customizable little grip tape skins. Um, HRF, Magwell, I think it's awesome, I think it's great. Um, I did break one, so there's that. It just it's it's plastic, so you know, be that as it may. Um, and then you know, old style uh, car stock, gotta love it. Um, God, I'm blanking on the name of this for my mag release. Some cool guy company. I'm sure someone will put it in the comments. Um, yeah, I won't, I won't be able to remember. Um, I run Lancer mags for the most part. And put a little plus six in there. But yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I'm, I, I'm just a college student. Um, college athlete for that matter. So, money's short. and This is what I've come up with so far. Um, immediate things would, would be a new scope and... New mount for my light, but I guess I need a suppressor before I even think about that. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, my my intention here was just kind of, again, I don't have that many funds. I'm not I'm not rich, so I wanted I didn't want I, I don't want a long range and then a short range. I didn't have well that'd be cool to have, but I couldn't afford it. So I kind of you know mash them all together, and when you do that, you kind of come out with a thirteen seven or maybe a. 12.5, 14.5, um, somewhere in that range, but 13.7 with a pen and weld makes it a legal rifle. So that was kind of the thought process behind that. Um, LPVO, you know, one times to, to eight times or one times to six times or one to 10, whatever, whatever scope you got. Um, <laughs> kill as many birds as you can with one stone. That's the thought process behind that. Anyways, that's my rifle. Um, there are many like it, but this one's mine. And a uh, uh, BCM trigger. BCM trigger. Won't forget that. But yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it as a one video. Um, that was my rifle. And a review of the Vertex. Vickers Tactical VTAC. I think that's the same company. But um, their little their little incognito case too, which is pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please, please, I really don't like doing reviews and crap. I, I want to, you know, do cool videos of me doing shit, um, working on working on the ranch or shooting or whatever. It's just that's just hard. I, I think I might need to get a GoPro if I were to go that route. And so that'd, that'd be a little complicated. Um, but in the meantime, at this point in the channel, you know, it's going to be a little bit more 
um, I guess stationary oriented would be my 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 limiting factor, um, the ability to move a camera around, and also be able to work with my hands and stuff. So um, yeah, but within the within the realm of stationary, uh, please let me know what you guys want to see. Um, anyways, thank you. God bless. Uh, always comment if you you know have any questions or need anything.